the risk of contamination is high in overcrowded and unsanitary jails. Because it is present in several towns and this is just the start of the outbreak, a WHO official said that on 30th of September, Prime Minister Olivier Mahafali Solanandris Anna in a televised statement, announced that all public gatherings would be banned in Antananarivo to prevent the spread of the disease following the death of the basketball coach. In addition to school closures across the country, authorities on 5th of October ordered the closure of the country's two main universities, in the eastern port of Tolmesina and Antananarivo for disinfection purposes. The first is in eastern Madagascar, where the first death was recorded on 28 August, and the other is the central part of the island mainly in Antananarivo. The risk of the disease spreading, is high at national level. The faster we move, the more lives we save. It is considered to be the most deadly form of the disease, and can be fatal within 24 hours. The less deadly bubonic plague is often spread by rodents fleeing forest fires. More than a million doses of antibiotics have been delivered by the World Health Organization to fight an outbreak of plague in Madagascar which has killed at least 33 people. The authorities have also banned prison visits in the two worst affected areas to prevent the spread of the disease. This year urban areas have been affected, a development that has worried aid agencies in a country not renowned for a robust healthcare system. Plague is curable, if detected in time. Humans usually become ill after being bitten by infected fleas. There are normally about 400 cases of plague every year in the country. This year, however, the majority of cases are of mnemonic plague, which affects the lungs and is transmitted through coughing. It is unclear when the disease first broke out, but the first death occurred on 28th of August, when a passenger died in a public service vehicle in the town of Morimanga. On the east coast. Two other persons who came had come into contact with the passenger later died, with two more succumbing to the disease in the center of the island. A Seychellois basketball coach died in a hospital in Antananarivo on 27th of September during the Indian Ocean Basketball Championship. Two regions are particularly hit by the outbreak. There has recently been criticism of the government's perceived slow reaction to the outbreak. The health ministry says the latest bout of plague has infected about 230 people, in addition to those who have died, in just two months. Our teams are working to ensure that everyone at risk has access to protection and treatment. Public gatherings have been banned in response to the latest outbreak. A specialized hospital in the capital Antananarivo is struggling to cope with the influx of ill people, local media reported, with long queues outside for face masks and medicine.